still on holiday mode which is a problem because it's like the 15th of January I still haven't taken care of my wall still looking like that actually it got worse because I kept peeling it off I think once I get that out of the way I'm gonna be inspired again but it's just like I don't really know what to do like should I just do it myself and go through the trouble or should I get a professional to do it? I don't know so I really need to stop procrastinating the wall because yeah I feel like that's a big reason why I'm feeling like this because <laughs> I know I should get that out of my way but at the same time I'm like ugh I don't know how to get started on it they extended the social distancing level 2.5 and we've been unable to meet in groups of more than four and they've just extended it. I miss going to cafes. So many things we took for granted. We're still not allowed to drink inside the cafe, only takeout and everything closes at 9 p.m. here. So we've been at level 2.5 since December 8th when Corona was just starting last year. I was like, oh, this is gonna be gone by next year and then we're still dealing with this shit. Well, you gotta look on the bright side, right? At least we're not under complete lockdown and we could still go to work and take the public transportation. Also, I made a new Spotify playlist for you guys. You guys know how much I love throwback songs, especially songs from late 90s to early 2000s, the childhood songs that I grew up with. So I've curated a playlist of songs that I used to sing when I was younger. So most of them are by female artists. So these are some of the songs that I still sing to this day in the shower at the top of my lungs and I wanted to share it because I'm sure a lot of you guys are 90s babies. Go check it out. I'll leave the link below and I hope you have fun singing in the shower. I was out for a day and I left my window open just a little bit because I wanted to circulate the air in my house. This side of the plant that was right next to the open window just died. I feel so bad. It's like mushy. I'm gonna try to... Oh, just came out. I'm gonna try to cut some of the leaves off and treat it. Like this just came off right away. Just like this. I tried cutting a few off, but I also read that it's not the best idea because I can stress the plant out even more. I just watered it and I'm gonna leave it for a while and see what happens. And yeah, this is so sad. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna hide this side for now. That looks better. Good morning, guys. So I'm actually gonna be stepping out today for once and meet up with Joan, Pyori, and Subin's. We're gonna go have lunch and then hit up a cafe because finally cafes are open for seating again after so long but of course still only up to groups of four but before I head out uh, I wanted to show you guys my updated skincare routine and this portion of the vlog is sponsored by Neogen because my hubby Joan, Joan Day, just came out with these Vita Duo Day Cream and Night Cream so Joan first released these like two years ago. I don't know, it's been a while. And she recently upgraded the formula and also changed the packaging up. The coolest thing is that it's refillable. Yeah, so, so cool. So I've been using both the day and night cream every single day after I cleanse my face with a toner. My face is feeling dry right now, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. For toner, I use this one by Ella Coco called Noni Enriched Calming Toner. For serum, I just ran out of the ones I used to use and now I'm using this one by The Ordinary. Alright, and then I'll go in with the Vita Duo Day Cream and as you guys can tell, the 
bottle is green uh, because it's formulated with green tea and I love how like moussey it is so it's definitely a unique formula that like melts on your skin it's very cool actually and the green tea scent is not strong at all it's very faint you can hardly smell it that's the day cream you could see that the skin is moisturized and ready for makeup I have to show you guys the night cream because I love the day cream but I am obsessed with the night cream as you can tell I'm almost out but it's okay because I've got many refills but I love the night cream it is scented with lavender before I sleep I put like two or three layers of this because after I wash up at night and take a look at my skin I have all these red dots on my face my face is flared up and then I'll sleep with this on and the next morning my skin is so dewy and moisturized and clear so I really live by this and I'll be doing a giveaway with Neogen so look forward to the details I hope you guys get to try it out and let me know what you think I love it Thanks to Neogen for sponsoring this video. All right, time to put some makeup on, get dressed, and head out. <laughs> Wait, let me shine the flash on. <laughs> yeah, twinning. I'm home now after lunch and I also stopped by the interior place to ask them about my wall and I am going to get it fixed this Friday I finally decided to go in and take care of it no more putting it off, it's been too long uh, just for this side of the wall I have to pay 20,000 about like $200 which is a lot considering that's just a tiny wall but I mean that's what I get for being a dumbass I seriously had no idea it would do that <sighs> but oh well I just want to get it over with I hate looking at it all right so I have some packages that I need to open I just keep getting stuff for the house this is this needs to stop because I spend more time at home I think I keep looking at like interior things and just like what I want to buy or what I need or what I don't need but want and I just keep ordering so this first one I got it from this brand called Moral M-O-R-L I got this mat it's a butt ah. on the back there's slip resistant pads I don't know if that's what's it, what it's called booty 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 and this is from a brand called Oddly Workshop Ugh. This is the bag Ooh, I like the bag that it comes in And it looks like this Wow, so neat Whoa Wow, it matches me right now Thank you, Oddly Workshop. And last but not least is a gift I got myself from Matches Fashion. So I splurged and got a gift for myself. It's the first designer bag that I'm buying myself. So I'm really excited. 
to open it up it's from bottega veneta i don't know i just always thought bags from this brand were so classy so i got myself the cassette bag in brown oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm in love it's so soft how do you open this? How do you open it? I'm scared I'm gonna break it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to slide it. Ah. You can't really fit much in it, but it's okay because it's cute. It's beautiful. I love it. This is how small the bag is. <laughs> Probably my cell phone, my wallet my external battery and that's it but i mean i don't really know much about designer brands and like all the names and stuff like that but when i saw this one i just wanted to have it so yeah my first designer bag purchase goes to this cassette bag from bottega veneta i love saying it like that i feel like it's also kind of casual so i can just wear it every day and I also got myself a headband from Shrimps. This brand's aesthetic is so cute. Look at the shrimps. And I saw this fancy headband and I don't own any so I thought I should get one. Oh my god, look how pretty it is. Okay, it obviously doesn't look good with my hair right now but that's what the hairband looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed my little unboxing. Wiped on one side. Up there. Good morning guys. Construction man is coming in 30 minutes so I gotta clean up the living room and clear everything out so he has space to glue the wallpaper and put it on the wall. It's way too early. So sleepy. gotten a good night's sleep. In two hours, that will be gone. Hallelujah. Folks, never rip off the wallpaper. Alright? Even if you do, just rip the top layer off, not the entire thing. That's a lesson I learned. still wet right now that's why it looks like that but that was so fast that only took like an hour uh, i have to wait like a day or two for it to become flat so i'll show you guys the update i'm so happy that my wall is finally fixed last minute i decided to go with beige cream color instead of gray or white and now i'm kind of wishing my entire house was this color you can't really tell but if you look at the ceiling the ceiling is white and it's a little different this regular wall where you can see the texture of the wallpaper this one's a lot less noticeable i'm happy and i learned my lesson so i'm not going to be putting anything on here unless it's like a tiny little thing that i can just put on with a little mini tape it's time for lunch so i'm gonna make myself some avocado toast i haven't made avocado toast in so long got my avocado and i am currently air frying my frozen bread i don't have a toaster but air fryer works just fine I don't have lemon juice or anything, so I'm just gonna season it with some good old salt and pepper. Will it be weird if I put onion powder? I'll just try it. When you spoke to me. But everyone needs something. 
want it to look cool. Um, so while the egg is cooking, I'm gonna set up my bread. Kind of burnt it a little bit, but I like extra well done. The egg might be a little too big for the avocado toast. Mm. It's delish. It's the Asian way to sit. I wish I had like juice or something. No juice, just water. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back with another package. How original. But this package is kind of special. It is a vintage camcorder. I know I have a vintage film camera, but I also wanted a video camera or like a camcorder. I love the vibe and the color and the overall aesthetic of vintage camcorders. So I got one from this Instagram called Your Vintage. I had my alarm on for notifications. So as soon as they posted and I saw this, I was like, okay, this is way too cute. I gotta have it. It is Sanyo's Zati. Yes, it's in this green color. You can also take pictures with this. So that's another thing I really like. And this is digital. It doesn't run on film. It is so tiny. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait. No, I'm not turning you on. No, I have to charge you. This is a store that collects all these vintage film cameras and camcorders and they sell it when you order it and when you buy it they send you like the six seven minute detailed product shot and instructions on how to use it how to change all the options on the camera which was really helpful this was used but i mean the condition was great and i just really like the color of it it was so cute you can also turn the screen around. You can film yourself like this. I can't wait to show you guys how this comes out. All right, I'm gonna go charge it now and I'll show you guys a little later. And do you guys like my Sailor Moon shirt? My brother got it for me, <laughs> along with the Sailor Moon cap. Adorable. The rules for the giveaway are very simple. One, you must be following NeoGen on their Instagram, which I will leave below. And two, you must be subscribed to my channel. That sounds so obnoxious, but yes, you must subscribe. And three, leave a comment below telling me what you're looking forward to in 2021 and also tell me which country you're from. Those are the only four things and we'll be choosing five different winners and each winner will get a Vita Duo Day Cream, a Night Cream, and a refill for both bottles. So a total of four products each. And this is a worldwide giveaway, but because of COVID-19 right now, there might be some restrictions in some countries. I hope a lot of you guys will participate because you don't want to miss out on this chance to try the Vita Duo Day Cream and the Night Cream. I'll be announcing the winners five days after this vlog goes up. I'll be responding to your comment if you are the winner. Now I'm going to say goodbye with some clips from my new camcorder. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!